Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. So, for today, we are from group 6. We wanted to present about the AM transmitter and AM receiver. So, for the project background, it is about to able to analyze amplitude modulation and the capable of receiving the desired signal from one of radio station with the AM broadcast band. AM is commonly used for radio transmissions, for broadcasting and two-way radio communication applications. The AM receiver detect amplitude variation in the radio wave at a particular frequencies, then amplify change in the signal voltage to operate a loudspeaker or earphone. An antenna is used to catch the desired frequency waves. The receiver use, it uses electronic filters to separate the desired radio frequency signal from all other signal picked up by the antenna. An electronic amplifier is to increase the power of the signal for further processing and finally recovers the desired information through demodulation. Demodulation of AM signal can be done using simple circuit consisting of diodes. AM has advantage to M of simplicity but it is not the most efficient mode to use, both in terms of the amount of space or spectrum it takes up and the way in which it uses the power that the transmitted. For this project, we are required to build an AM transmitter and receiver system that can transmit and signal using AM frequency, AM radio frequency band. The AM transmitter and receiver system should be able to transmit audio signal using the using the available AM radio frequencies. The AM receiver system should be able to demodulate the AM signal and retrieve the original audio signal. For the objective for, of this project is number one is to design an AM transmitter with low level design of amplitude modulation. Number two is to design a commercial radio station broadcasting within the 550 kHz to 1720 kHz of AM frequency band. Number three is to able to transmit audio signal using the available AM radio frequencies. Number four is to able to remodulate the AM signal and retrieve the two original audio signal. Number four, number five is to overcome the interference for improving the study of signal strength. Number six is to able use the theoretical calculation in verifying AM transmitter and AM receiver. So I pass to my friend. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Ramdan bin Awab Bake and today I will present about the block diagram of AM transmitter. So the input of this AM transmitter is the audio signal and the output is antenna. So the AM transmitter will take audio signal as an input and delivers amplitude modulated wave to the antenna as an output to be transmitted. And then the audio signal from the output of the microphone is sent to the pre-amplifier which boosts the level of the modulating signal. The RF oscillator will then generate and produce the carrier signal and then the power amplifier is will be used to increase the power level of AM wave and this wave is finally passed to the antenna to be transmitted. Both of modulating and the carrier signal is sent to the AM modulator. So next page is about the AM block diagram of AM receiver. So the AM receiver will receive the amplitude modulated wave from AM transmitted to convert the AM signal into audio into sound energy and the antenna will intercept the radio signal and feed the RF amplifier and then the RF amplifier will select the desired signal frequency and amplify its voltage then this amplified this amplifier is tuned to the desired signal frequency by using capacitive tuning. After suitable amplification of RF signal, it is fed to the mixer and then the mixer will take another input as a local oscillator. So 
so this will generate a frequency according to the frequency of the selected signal so that the difference will be equal the mixer will then con the mixer consists of non-linear device which is transistor due to the non-linearity the mixer output consists of a number frequency component a tuned circuit at the output of the mixer will only select the different component while rejecting all other components and then the amplified if signal is will be fed to the demodulator which demodulate the receive am signal the output of the detector stage demodulator is the original modulating signal this signal is given to the audio amplifier which amplifies it voltage to drive the power amplifier amplifies the speaker which the last stage of the receiver the and then finally the speaker will convert the audio current into sound energy so next will be about the software next slide is about the software that we use for this project which is multi-sim live we use multi-sim live to provide a full schematic capture and simulation experience with this software we can test the behavior of a circuit demonstrate the application of a design illust illustrate concept perform and share interactive spy simula simulation on supported browsers that's all from me thank you Okay, hello, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So I'm Yuvari Rabbani bin Aminuddin. DE180050. So uh, here I would, to like, I would like to present about AM transmitter and receiver circuit. So for this circuit, we have AF modulator, diode, capacitor. We got three capacitor and three uh, resistor. So uh, as you can see, for for the first one circuit we got rc time constant and the second one uh, we got rc low pass filter and the third one is rc high pass filter so for the formula rc time constant we use r times c so r we got 1.6 kilo ohm and c we got 5 nano farads so uh after we calculate we got x microseconds so rc uh, time constant should be uh, 1 over fc should be less than rc and rc should be less than from 1 over fm so the next is so the next is calculation of rc low pass filter so for the rc low pass filter we use this formula to calculate the low pass filter so we use 1 over 2 pi rc so for rc we use 1 kilo ohms and c we use 1 nano first so after we calculate uh we got 159.15 kilohertz so this is formula for and formula and calculation for rc low pass filter so the last one is calculation of the rc high pass filter for calculation this rc low pass filter we use formula 1 over 2 pi rc so for R and C, R we use 100k kilo ohm. So C we use 1 nano farad. So uh, after we calculate, we got 1.59 kilo ohms. So that's all for me. Uh, I will, uh, my friend will be continue for the next slide. So thank you. Hi. My name is Nur Rafika. My metric number is DE180085. So I want to present about the circuit simulation of AM transmitter and receiver. But 
before that, I want to explain a little bit about our circuit. So, if you can see, at this part, it is referred to the modulating signal. So, at this part, we have used AM voltage component. This component can set the carrier amplitude, carrier frequency, modulation index, and also modulating frequency. So, uh, we have set the carrier frequency to 100 kHz, which is in this range of the problem statement given. So, at this part, which is uh, the diode, capacitor, and resistor, uh, it is a four envelope detector. This circuit are widely used as demodulation technique. This envelope detector is a non coherent type demodulation technique for AM signal. Non coherent means for the demodulation of the AM signal, the carrier signal is not required at the receiver end. Then, uh, uh, this is the R and C, which is at this part, it is referred to the RC low pass filter, and the last one, it is referred to the RC high pass filter. So, let's run the circuit. After we run, we can see the output waveform of the AM transmitter and receiver. So, this is the output waveform. So, I will explain one by one of the output. So if you can see the green color the green color it is refer to the modulation signal or known as message signal okay uh, if you can see this shape are called as the envelope okay this shape are happen when we set the modulation index less than 1 okay this message signal is a sinusoidal signal of a single frequency. Next, we can see the light blue waveform. So, this light blue waveform, it is referred to the output of the envelope detector. As you can see, there have some ripple in output. So, by using low pass filter, we can remove this ripple. So, we have connected. Uh, a simple RC low pass filter. The cut off frequency of this low pass filter is selected in such way that that is should be able to pass the message signal. So back to the output waveform. Okay, so then if you can see the blue color of the waveform is the output of the low pass filter. So, because of the low pass filter, it will uh, it will be some phase delay. But we are able to recover this message signal. And if we pass this output through a DC blocking capacitor, then we can remove the DC offset. So, after low pass filter, a 1 nanofarad of the DC blocking capacitor is used. And the output is measured across the 100 kilo ohm resistor. The value of this DC blocking capacitor should be selected based on the load value because if we see over here, the capacitor and resistor will make the high pass filter. So, if you see the cutoff uh, of this high pass filter, it is equal to 1.5 9 kilohertz okay that means it will pass the message uh, signal and will remove the dc component so uh, when the output across this load it will be uh, the graph it will be like this so the purple waveform show the output after dc blocking capacitor so in this way by properly selecting the value, it is possible to recover the message signal. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Kwan bin Muhammad Si and my message number is DE180088. So, at here, I will explain about the difficulty, problem and the challenging. So, there are many types of problem and challenging uh, that we face uh, during uh, this project progress. So, for example, 
uh, choosing the circuit design due to many design of AM transmitter and AM receiver circuit in online uh, we need to choose the circuit that they fulfill the task given so um, from our research we get um, very many um, circuit but uh, we cannot simply uh, uh, take the circuit and do for the project uh, we have to uh, do the modification uh, or modify the circuit uh, to to get the exactly uh, uh, what uh, what we what the project need so other than that uh, we also face a difficulty in designing and simulation the circuit so at here um, we have difficulty in in doing the uh, the circuit and simulation in the first video we tell uh, that we are going to use the produce uh, software but um, after we doing uh, the circuit and the produce um, we uh, cannot uh, get the output or waveform so um, um, from that uh, we change and, and to make the uh, to make the circuit or to doing our project uh, simulation in Matisim Life software, creating the design desired uh, for this project that will support the AM frequency band, um, which is between 550 kHz to 1720 kHz, it is really hard and challenging. Next, we need to produce the theoretical calculation. So producing the theoretical calculation, uh, signal waveform, signal spectral before and after modulation uh, can sometimes be difficult because we need to try and recalculate it again if we get the uh, wrong answer or desired output. So at here, uh, it is very difficult for our group to make uh, the calculation uh, to get the best uh, waveform or best output and we also need to build the AM transmitter and AM receiver system that can transmit signal using AM radio frequency band conclusion that we get from uh, this project uh, first we are able to apply the theoretical knowledge to the practical design of AM transmitter and AM receiver and second um, we are able to identify the unoccupied available AM frequency from the purpose transmitter and receiver circuit as for the suitable circuit layout of the AM transmitter and receiver and third we are also able to calculate RC low pass filter RC high pass filter and RC time constant and all of them need to be recalculate to get the best output or best waveform and last most importantly we are able to analyzing the validate the result with the theoretical calculation so that's all from our group thank you